All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Bear. It is now time for your main event of the evening. Yeah, and it is the first ever chain match in the history of Zero One. The rules are very simple. Both men are going to be tied at the wrist by a chain. There are no count outs, no disqualifications. No pinfalls and no submissions. The only way to win is to consecutively hit all four corners of the ring. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this match could get a little wild, so if these two participants come near you on the outside, get right. out of the way. Right. If it looks right. like it's coming your way, it is. Move. When it doubt, oh, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled. Welcome to the Nosebleed Seats. I'm the Mad Conservative Crime Fighter. So I have um, a special guest color commentator coming in here after the break. But we're back at Zero One Supreme and we're going to flash back a few weeks. As we're going to cover the uh, Zero One Illinois title match between this man. Frank Wyatt in the champion. Harker Dirge coming in to defend his title. Uh, Zero One Supreme will be uh, returning to the Fluid Events there on December the 4th and 11th. The 11th is the big uh, ladder match between Matt Cage and Blake Steele rescheduled from uh, November. Also, we'll be uh, heading to uh, Rantoul, Illinois to Lincoln's Challenge Academy on December the 6th. Go to Zero One Supreme on Facebook to find out more information. We've been asked to plug this event for January the 10th, 2015, Proving Ground Pro going to Litchfield, Illinois for the very first time. Litchfield, Illinois having some wrestling there for the first time in a number of years at the Litchfield Community Center, the first annual Buckley Cup. And already signed for that tournament to be Tyson Ducks, Lewis London, Mario Cravilla, Ethel, Ethan Page, Justice Jones, and Real Iron Superstar, Tommaso Ciampa. All will be competing in the Buckley Cup tournament held by Proving Ground Pro on the January the 10th, 2015 in Litchfield, Illinois. I do also want to note the Hooligans did indeed get stripped of the tag team titles. Those will be defended in a tag team tournament to be held in March. They also will be going to Havana in February. But in the meantime, let's take a look at this weekend's schedule. The nomination period for the 8th Annual NBS Awards has begun, and we are taking your nominations at CentralIllinoisProWrestling.com for the next three months. Determining the top player in each of the categories isn't an easy task, as the frontrunners for these awards aren't always obvious. But narrowing down all the possible contenders to five finalists is a challenge in itself and recognition to those who are indeed named. 
The five people we choose for a category we believe are the best at what they do, and while premiers can't book every MBS award winner, they're adding quality to their events by bringing in any of the named finalists. To the fans, wrestlers, and promoters, when sending us your nominations for any of the 12 categories, please give us our, your reasoning why they should win these awards. Numbers are important. It's the rationale we need, and if you have difficulty explaining why they should win, that may be an indication that you are nominating the wrong person. We even will entertain an anti-nomination where you would give a reason why we shouldn't give an award to whom you believe is likely to win in favor of who you thought bested the other. Also, there has been people who thought we overlooked a potential nominee for inclusion as a finalist, yet did not send in a nomination for it. Thus, even though we take in many shows, if, you, if we don't receive a nomination for something you believe deserves to be on the ballot, you may, de you may be dissatisfied with what we do decide are the five finals for a given award. We can't think of everything, but you are entrusting us to think of it on our own if you remain silent. We will also be watching each individual promotion's awards for whom they thought were the best in their promotion for consideration in the Central Illinois region. Our goal is to get nominations from everyone involved in Central Illinois Pro Wrestling. So please help spread the word. With all of us working together, we can make this region the best it can be. We look forward to hearing from each and every one of you. Forward your questions and share our webpage where our nomination form is located at CentralIllinoisProWrestling.com or our Facebook page, Central Illinois Pro Wrestling. I'm the Mac Conservative Cry Fighter. Coming in March 2015, the Nosebleed Seats present the 8th Annual NBS Awards. We will travel to the arenas all over Central Illinois to honor the match of the year, tag team, most popular, most hated, referee, manager, feud, diamond in the rough, gold microphone, wrestler of the year, and to make inductions into a Central Illinois Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame. Nominations are open. Visit CentralIllinoisProWrestling.com to learn how we can all honor the best in Central Illinois Pro Wrestling. High Risk Wrestling returns to the Belclair Expo Center at 200 South Belt East in Belleville, Illinois on Sunday, December 28th with a 4 p.m. start. See Ring of Honor superstars Michael Elgin, ACH, Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby Fish, and Moose with Jakars, Silver Ant, Fire Ant, Chuck Taylor, and Jigsaw all in action with special guest NWA legend Bobby Eaton. It all happens on Sunday, December 28th in Belleville, Illinois. See them risk it all at High Risk Wrestling. And now an update on some recent tile changes around the coverage area. Jake Durden won the Proving Ground Pro franchise tile in a reprisal of the match against Rough Crossing that was just as wild and crazy as it was last year. Stacey O'Brien won the World League Wrestling Women's title, winning a best of five series against Heather Patera in Jefferson City, Missouri, while Leland Race won the World League Wrestling Heavyweight title over Ace Steel. Flash Flanagan took the SICW Classic title from Heath Hatton following some major shenanigans. And IWA Unlimited saw two title changes as Josh Totten and Stephen Davis won the vacant tag titles in a mini tournament. And Shank Barzini is once again the IWAU Heavyweight Champion taking it from Cash Borden. And finally, Smash and Flash won back the Pinfall Wrestling Association tag team titles from the Disrespecticons in a hardcore match after an unexpected turn against the man who helped take the belts from them in the previous event, Sage Ramsey. Ramsey was laid off as the commissioner of PWA. Ladies and gentlemen, live from the Fluid Event Center in Champaign, Illinois, this is your main event of the evening, and it is a chain match for the Illinois State Championship. When the bell rings, the man in charge, zero, one official, Iron Mike Underwood. First, standing to my right, the challenger. He is accompanied to the ring this evening by the warrior, Dexter.
and his opponent, hailing from Champaign, Illinois. He is your current reigning and defending Zero One Illinois State Champion, Parker. Now joining me in the commentary booths, we have the pharmacist. The pharmacist, absolutely. So here we are, zero one Supreme. Parker Dirge and Frank Wyatt going at it in a chain match for the uh, zero one Illinois Championship. This is going to be brutal, I can tell. Anytime you throw chains into a match, you know that it's going to be good. Look at those things. I think that I probably could tow one of my trailers with this thing. This thing is huge, and these guys are planning on strapping themselves together with it. Well, and they, what they have to do is tow them into all four corners to win. You know, just regular pinning somebody is hard enough, but to drag these guys around, I mean, look at Wyatt. Look at the size of him. Can you imagine Dirge having to drag him through all four corners just to win this match? I mean, that's going to be huge. Well, Harker Dirge is an 18-year veteran. Wyatt has only been at it for a couple of years. Well, Dirge has come in here sporting the Road Warrior attire. He is the man. He is our champion. He is the guy that I'm looking for tonight. I mean, I think... Other than having to drag this big guy around, he's got the moves that can take this match. All right, bell sounded, and here we go at it. Coming this Thursday, um, Zero One is resuming their Thursday events here at the Fluid Events Center. A test of strength to get them started. We'll see who wants to take the first action here. That chain is definitely not going to break. They can push as hard as they want, but that chain will not break. We'll see which one of them breaks first. Silver the 11th is that ladder match that was postponed. It's going to be between Blake Steele and Matt Cage for the uh, X Division title. Rescheduled due to, I guess, the building being rented out by uh, other parties. That'll be the last uh, Zero One event for the year. Of course, this Saturday, they were returning to Rantoul at the uh, Lincoln's Challenge Academy Gym on December the 6th. They are also, if you're watching this Wednesday night in Champaign, they are going to have an event on uh, December the 4th here at the Fluid Events Center. So, three events cl clustered close together these next two weeks. All exciting news for what's coming up. But look at this match here. I tell you what, they are going at it. Ten punch in the corner, and there's a bite from Harker Dirge. Oh, gosh. You know, I knew the chains would bring some, uh, you know, vicious stuff to here, but who knew that the, um, the biting and that kind of stuff was getting ready to occur. Looks like a shot to the throat. Oh, he hits him right on the back, too. That's not got to feel good at all. Dragging him in with that chain. You can't get anywhere with that chain attached to these two guys. They cannot get away from each other. There's the kick to the face. And Harker Dirge laying in some haymakers. It's going to wrap that chain around this. Oh, it's oh. shot to the throat with the chain. I'm telling you what. Those chains are tough and real, folks. Those things will hurt you. There is no doubt. Frank Wyatt breaks out of that uh, chokehold from uh, Harker and gives him an elbow to the side of the chin. That cannot feel good. Oh, he's wrapping up with the chain now. You do not want to get hit with that, folks. Oh, my gosh. He hit him right across the face with that one. And now he's going to touch the corners. He's going to try and wrap this up. Nope. Oh, that's right. You can't go very far with those two guys connected. All right, the, uh, it is reset. Harker Dirge has Frank Wyatt down and is working the leg. Choking him out. It is, it is important to work the legs of this big man because you can't move around very good if you can't. 
You're having trouble walking. I mean, he's probably got enough trouble carrying his whole self around, let alone give him one bad leg. He can't do it at all. It's a big guy we're messing with there. Parker with some knees to the back as uh, Dexter Schwartz looks on. Yep, there's, there's one. one. Two, uh-oh, look out. He's gonna run the bases. I'm telling you, Wyatt needs to get away, there you go. He needs to get away from those buckles right there. The further away he is from those buckles, that chain is not gonna stretch. You have to bring that body that far. Well, and he's pulling that chain inward to make that thing less long. And now we're reset to zero again. Oh, headbutt! And Wyatt. Oh, he's wrapping up with the chain again, folks. Oh, that, oh my gosh. That will knock you into next Tuesday. Frank Wyatt, also the holder of the United Wrestling Coalition Online Championship, as Harker Dirge is the holder of the UWC Heavyweight title. So, Harker a double champion. Frank Wyatt wanting to be a double champion. And he's wrapped the chain around the fist and down. Sledge to the head of Harker Dirge. I tell you what, Stephen, both of these guys are great wrestlers. And they have the moves. But I tell you what, this chain throws an interesting twist into this whole match. Because they can use it, and they, they can use it uh, as a weapon. They can use it to keep one another from actually touching these turnbuckles. It's amazing to see what they're doing with this thing. Another shot to the head with that chain. And... I think he's trying to cut him open. Wouldn't surprise me. Oh no. Oh no. Across the small of the back. That not a lot of force behind that shot though. Still, it's a it's a chain, Steven. Those things are brutal. If you get hit with them just a little bit, it is gonna hurt. Well, White's gonna start oh. running the bases and Harker cuts him off. Well, reset again. Referee has wiped it off, and a right to the eyes by Dirge. You know, dragging just the chain around itself has got to wear these guys out. And the way they're beating away on each other, this is going to be a tough match. Elbow to the head. Oh, no, right across the eyes. Oh, that's... Oh, that's going to be sick. I'm not sure... Not sure how he's going to find him now. He's going to mess with his vision. He's grinding him there. Wyatt is taking his time on these turnbuckles. I can't believe he's not going quicker. Ah, drop kick and takes down Frank Wyatt. Oh, no. And I believe Harker is bleeding from the forehead now. Oh, yeah. I can see it now. It's kind of hard to see on the video, but he is bleeding on the forehead. Harker Dirge, formerly known as Bloody Harker Dirge, has always been a ghoul. What's he gonna do now with the chain? You can't touch the Oh, no. look at this! He got the chain off! Chain came off, and Harker Dirge. The, the referee has got to take and put this back on. There is no way you can let this match continue without those two people being connected. That is a whole part of this match, and we've got to make sure that that is back together. Harker Dirge was like going for one. Harker Dirge was going for something when that chain came off, and Harker a little bit frustrated that his uh, plan was foiled. But now, well, now they're in a tug of war. war. Absolutely. That turnbuckle looks like it's to the advantage there of Dirge. I'm not sure that he's going to get... Oh, 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 no! He used his leverage. Can you believe that? It hit right on the steel pole. Well, that was what Harker Dirge appeared to have in mind earlier when the chain came off came off the wrist and oh, he's Dexter Schwartz. Oh, no. Getting in the face of Harker Dirge. and Now he's got two people he's got to contend with. That is well, he was always contending with both, and what did what just spiked him? I mean, it's one thing to have a, somebody outside the ring, Stephen, that you're having to watch out with, but now he's actually physically getting involved with this guy, and now it's two. I I hope um, Wyatt doesn't get right up here because if he does, he's going to have his hands full. Harker Dirge pulled that 
or took that weapon away from Dexter Schwartz and swat him in the head with it. The goat face. What oh, good? Oh, and goat face is just annoying. Hey, let go. Here it goes. Dexter Schwartz grabbed a hold of me, and I I don't like to be grabbed a hold of, especially by him. That guy's whacked. The guy lost a sharp dressed man match of so many weeks ago, and uh, he was so distraught and angry about losing that he ran through the streets of Champaign, Illinois, completely naked. Oh my goodness! Well, he had his boxers on, but that's Still beside the sight. point. That's yeah, yeah. Not it was a hideous that. sight. Like that is this. not something any Guy, of us really want to see. He had no fashion sense. But <laughs> good night. Dirge is dragging him. Oh, oh no! He might into be the spending, stairs. He might be spending too much time outside the ring here. He needs to get Wyatt back inside the ring to where he's got the one-on-one -on -one match and not got these two guys now after him. Well, Wyatt has to get him in the ring so he can uh, win the title. That's the only way. And a oh, headbutt from Frank Wyatt. Brutal. Dirge is doing what he should do, and that's get back inside the ring here. Let's we'll see if he can recover from that. Dexter Swartz running around with that cat of nine tails. And Harker Dirge. Oh, here's a choke. Is that a choke, or Steven, or is that around his mouth? That's around the, yeah, that's around the neck of Frank the oh Thumber Wyatt. Gosh. Oh, my goodness. Parker Dirge trying to taste. Oh, he's going for the turnbuckle, Steven. He's going for the. There's one. He's out of energy a little bit, but he's got to two now. Oh, he's got Wyatt right where he needs him, right in the center of the ring. That may allow him to get to all four turnbuckles. I don't know. Let's see if he can get there. Oh, oh no. Wyatt has cut him off. And the referee has waved it off. He touched. He got a triple out of that. Oh no. Oh, he yeah, slammed him hard. That is hard, folks. A guy that size slamming you down, you know you're going to feel it next week. And Frank Wyatt wrapping that chain around his elbow. Oh, oh he missed it. Target. He missed, missed it. That is too Dirge. bad. Dirge was very lucky to get out of that one. Why? That elbow was not only a no, big guy, but it had chains all over it. Oh, he came off the rope to get that one. Forearm shot Dirge to the head and Harker Dirge. Oh, he's climbing up. Well, he he's is touching up. the corners, doing an offensive. One with the fist. Oh, that put some force behind it. You think that chain is tough? Just had a fist off the rope, and that is gonna hurt. Oh, he's going. Well, I in. thought he was gonna run the bases by doing elbows off the off the turnbuckles, but he stops it too. Oh. And wow, why pulls him? Yep, that was not a light pull at all. Look at Dexter Swartz running and raving at ringside. But Wyatt's trying to take advantage of this now. He's got to the first turnbuckle. Oh, he's gotten to another one. No. Nope. Yes, yeah, not going to happen. Broken up. Broken up. It's going to be waved off. I can tell it right now. He's not going to let him get any further. That chain is just keeping these guys from being able to really get to all four of these turnbuckles. Oh, look at this. Oh, that is brutal. Parker Dirge trying to bust open Frank Wyatt now. Both of these guys are completely exhausted. What are you You can doing? just see it in the way they move around the ring. They're not getting around to turnbuckle to turnbuckle to try and finish this match. They are just moving. You can see the labor in their, their movements. It is just difficult for them after lugging these chains around and these two big guys just going at it. All right. A little quick references to this weekend. Obviously, Zero One running at the uh, Rantoul at the uh, Lincoln's Child's Academy. Dreamwave is running a big event in December the 6th in LaSalle, Peru, final event of the year. Got to head to the St. Louis Wrestling Community and see where all the wrestling events are happening around the area. MMWA is running an event in St. Louis at South Broadway Athletic Club, so yeah, quite a December is usually the uh, big wind down for the uh, year in wrestling events, but it first half of the month seems to uh, be uh, no slowdown whatsoever. Oh, oh for the DDT! Wow! And Harker Dirge has trying to get. Advantage here. Yep, 
All right, during your announcement, Stephen, Dirge has used this chain to his advantage. He has been beating on Wyatt with this thing across his midsection. He's actually gone off the ropes a couple times now and just really laid it to him. This has allowed him to now be able to go for these turnbuckles while Wyatt is just, he's out. I, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to get up from this. He's, well, he's got a triple. There's three. And oh, no. Dexter Schwartz is getting into the ring. He's not letting him get to the fourth one. What's he doing? What's he doing? You can't, well, this is you not, can't get in the way? That's not That's not right. And oh, Wyatt no. pulls him aside. Oh, no. Breaks it up. The referee should uh, eject Dexter Schwartz from ringside. That is oh, not is legal. To his advantage. Look at that. There's two. And he's moving with purpose. There's three. And will he get to the fourth one? Arthur oh, Dirt's going to try and block it. Oh, Arthur Dirt's oh. just trying to block it. Oh, oh. he's got to pull hard. He's got to really pull the way that, oh, I oh, slapped it. It's over. That is a fall. He fell. That's not even really right. That it's is. over. Dexter Schwartz has cost. Dirge Dark. lost his match because of that. That is just ridiculous. I mean, Wyatt definitely took advantage of his opportunities there. Dirge was distracted, and as soon as he was distracted... Well, he interfered in the match. That's what he did. It's not a distraction. It was direct interference. And Frank Wyatt is your new 0-1 Illinois champion in 14 minutes. Well, Stephen, it was a pleasure to watch these, this wrestling match with you. I tell you what, these guys went at it. Wyatt definitely took advantage of his opportunities, and Dirge, I think he was just overmatched by having um, an extra ref or an extra manager outside of the ring. He just was not able to keep up and keep his focus on the entire match. Well, Harker was, well, I disagree with you with that. Harker was focused on his point the entire match, but until Frank, or uh, Dexter Schwartz jumped in the ring and blocked the fourth corner, with Schwartz being that there, was the difference. That was definitely the difference. That made the difference in this match, and it made it so the dirt was just not able to keep up. Well, I want to thank the pharmacist for uh, joining me in this episode of the Nosebleed Seats. As Harker Dirge is... Uh, he upset. held... It. He is obviously upset. Harker Dirge held that belt for quite a long time, defending it almost every week, which is what uh, more than uh, most champions in the uh, Central Illinois region are doing. True. That was rough. Harker Dirge... Of course, is still going to be a contender, as was Frank Wyatt for uh, Central Illinois Wrestler of the Year. So we'll have to see. The nominations are open. I want you all to go to uh, CentralIllinoisProWrestling.com and submit your nominations on who you think the Wrestler of the Year is, among all other categories. For the 8th Annual MBS Awards. But until next time... I'm the man considered a crime fighter. He is... The pharmacist. And... You know, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. The Christmas season is coming up. Uh, Parker Dirge, even though he lost today, he will... Uh, he'll get a rematch sooner or later. I think he'll definitely be ready for it. He'll have to plan ahead to make sure that he is ready for the both of them. All right, good night, everybody.